Hi, can you answer the following questions? If you can, consider yourself a well-educated person. Where are these mountains located? Triglav, Kasbek, Korab. Which city is the most populous? Apia, Basseterre, South Tarava, Ashgabat. Believe me, these are questions that in my opinion make one feel stupid. Maybe you should know the answers, but they are really difficult. Questions that you may encounter in the game Planet Quiz Learn and Discover that was just released for the Nintendo Switch. It's time to play a game that tests your skills to the limit. Planet Quiz is an educational game that mostly revolves around challenging player in geography or phenomena that can be linked to different countries. I received a review copy for this game and with that said let's check out how Planet Quiz is experienced on the Nintendo Switch and if it's worth buying. Ok, first of all, this game offers a lot of possibilities. You can choose between campaign, quick play or tournament. In campaign mode you either choose questions about the whole earth or you choose a continent. If you want you can buy a DLC that opens up questions about the sea. The expansion costs about 3 bucks. In campaign mode you start with the easy questions, more difficult questions are locked until you have completed each level. If you choose a campaign you can cheat as much as you want, there is no time limit. Google is your best friend right? But I guess you are an honest person who answers the questions as best as you can. In quick play mode the questions are time limited and you can choose how many rounds you want to play. In addition you can customize the degree of difficulty to your liking. Tournament mode is probably the most fun way to play. The reason is that here you can play against your friends, but not online. It's possible to play up to 4 players and to some extent it's reminiscent of quick play. You have a certain number of seconds to answer and if you're faster than your opponent with answering correctly you get more points. I actually thought this was a pretty nice style of play because you can measure your knowledge with others. And you have to think relatively fast and be impulsive. If you're unsure of a question you may be forced to take a chance, but sometimes it helps to think logically just to answer certain questions. As example, which mountain is here? Hmm, so it's a mountain in South Africa. Look at the names. I guess that Gross Glockner is located in Austria. Kanchengunga. It sounds too Asian. It's either the Stunning Alps or Cape Fold Mountains. I'm guessing the second option. And that was the correct answer. In Planet Quiz you see the Earth from above, which is the game's game board. But also the only game board available. The basic idea is that you either get a statement or a question that draw pictures from the left side of the screen and place them on the playing field, that is, the globe. The game ID is very simple and sometimes I wish there were more options and other ways to be challenged. That I could leave the concept of placing answers on a game board and do something else. It gets a bit monotonous in the long run. It's possible to use the Switch in both docked and handheld mode. If you play handheld you can use the Switch touchscreen, which in my opinion is the most flexible way to play this game. It certainly works well to play the game with control, but since it's a point and click kind of game, I recommend playing handheld and using the touchscreen. The game's questions span a variety of areas, but most often they have some connection to geography. For example, place flags, cities, buildings or animals on the world map. However, it can be an advantage to be well versed in the English language. As an example, I had no idea what kind of bird a palm cockatoo was. In my mother tongue it's called palm cockadua. Now I don't claim that a game should have lots of language choices, but it seems that English is the only choice. At least I have not found any settings where I can choose another language. I'm really being exposed when it comes to questions about certain regions. Above all, I discovered that I know very little about our poles and Greenland. Every time there was a question about Antarctica or Greenland, I used to choose the wrong answer. And if I answered correctly, then it was a pure guess. Like this question. Do you have any idea where Shackleton's hut is located? Well, let me tell you. It's in Antarctica. I had no idea before I played this game, but now I know. Or where do you eat kwanga? Apparently it's a super common dish in Congo. If I ever visit Congo, which I doubt I will, well you never know, then I'll eat kwanga if I'm hungry. The same goes for all the mountains in the world. Sometimes you get questions to rank mountains by height or rivers by length. I have no idea if it's general education, but fact is, I think these types of questions are really tricky. 
Planet Quiz is a game that can challenge basically anyone. The different levels of difficulty help you to find your own level. The game really has no beginning or end. You can jump in wherever you want. Maybe you want to play through the easier questions to renew old knowledge. Or maybe you choose to be challenged by trying the difficult questions. And believe me, it takes a certain amount of education if you are to have all the questions right. At least if choosing hard. So to the question of whether Planet Quiz is replayable, the answer is yes. Even if you have gone through the game's campaign and also won over your friends in multiplayer, you can still be challenged. There are enough questions for you to be challenged. Unfortunately, the gaming experience becomes a bit monotonous in the long run, even if the game contains lots of questions and a certain variation in how they are asked. It will be monotonous, as if the game lacks an extra dimension, an addition that would spice up the experience and make it more interesting. You get a little tired of constantly seeing the blue planet and repeating the same type of questions over and over again. Planet Quiz would be better if there was a DLC that took the game in a new direction. Quizzes that differ from the current design, but as a whole this game can be quite enjoyable you actually learn something. Today I know more about Antarctica than I have ever done before, and it's thanks to this game. If you like answering questions, and especially about geography, then this game might be worth checking out. Please subscribe to my channel for more reviews and other content. Have a good day, bye!